I'm Wendy Tilburg, and you are on the channel Topical Steroid Versus Us. This channel is dedicated to raise awareness about the dangerous side effects of topical steroid, which is also called cortisone or hydrocortisone. I am myself going through my TSW. Uh, it's been about seven months and a half, and hopefully my camera is not that good for you because my face is completely flaky and it's not very nice. But anyway, I'm very, very glad to um, welcome our new guest of the day, Daisy. How are you doing, Daisy? Good, I'm doing very well. All right, and uh, you are in US by um, um, California. San Francisco. Uh, all right, yes. And um, yes, so Daisy, you can introduce yourself, tell us what you do for a living, your age, whatever can be interesting for our viewers. Mm -hmm. Well, hi everyone. My name is Daisy Lara and I am 24 years old. I live in California, like she was saying, and I've had eczema since I was four years old. All right. Yes. Also very young. Many, many people had it really young. For myself, it was one month old. Wow. So, so yeah, it's uh, everybody is really when, when we, we, we start our uh, our life, but uh, I would like you, Daisy, please to remind people or to tell people what is a topical steroid in your own words, please. Um, well, topical steroids is a cream that dermatologists or doctors prescribe to you to help your eczema, and it's supposed to heal your rashes or whatever you have on your skin really quick and it actually does usually but it has a rebound effect that it heals you and then it comes back and you put it again and yeah so basically it does not heal you uh on no any terms. no okay yeah that's that's our problem yeah and um how would you explain what is a topical uh, topical steroid withdrawal Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So withdrawal to me is when I stopped taking steroids and everything about four years ago, um, my skin went under this withdrawal because I completely stopped taking steroids. I didn't go slowly. I just, what they call cold, cold turkey, just stopped. Yeah. Yeah. And my skin was very okay until recently it came back because of stress and I started to withdraw from it. I used it and then withdrawed from it again, and my skin got pretty bad. Um, your skin gets really dry, flaky, red, and very itchy, and it's just a horrible time. Okay, so um, are you saying that topical steroid withdrawal is when you stop using the prescribed cream, right? Yes. Okay, so then your body is, uh, is craving for it, and then yes. it, it goes crazy. Mm -hmm, because yeah. it's not getting what it would get all the time, and it's missing it, even though it wasn't helping at all. <laughs> yeah, so basically, it's, it's just a drug. Right? Mm -hmm. You would be addicted to uh, cigarettes or whatever. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Um, you, you make me think about something. I, don't, I would like to know, when, when did you start your TSW? Mm -hmm. So, I was in high school about five years ago, and that's when I made this Instagram um, to follow people that have eczema like me, and that's when I stopped um, using steroids and all that stuff, and then two years ago, I started school at Sonoma State, and I guess all the stress and everything brought my eczema back because I was I was clear of the everything. My skin was fully clear. And then, um, and then this year I got pretty sick again because of finals and everything. And I was going to graduate from school. And then all of a sudden I got this infection of, of my skin, which has been the worst. And that's, and during the hospital, they actually gave me steroids, but, um, well, I wasn't conscious. So they, they gave me whatever they thought was best, but I didn't want to have steroids. Yeah. Okay, they, so you were unconscious and they gave you steroids. Yes, because I actually got to the hospital and I had these little um, 
like blister, watery blisters, which mm -hmm. I thought was from the dystrolic eczema or mm -hmm. some with that type of hand eczema. Mm -hmm. And I had a fever of 104. And what happened was once I got to the hospital, they did all these tests and everything. And they said, well, we're not sure what's wrong with you, but you're going to have to stay here until your fever comes down. And I said, okay. And then um, they still, it was hours and hours passed by and they still didn't know what was going on with me. And they admitted me to the hospital. And then after that, I became a uh, septic which is when you go into a shock because of your fever being so high. And then after that, I don't remember very much for like the first two weeks because my uh, eczema had caused me a staph infection, which went all over my body. And that's why now I have all the, I don't know if you can see, um, yeah. these like little dots. Yeah. yeah. And my, my skin, my whole body was covered and now I just have it, um, like the scarring you would say here so yeah. is it the scarring of what started on your hand yeah so what started on my hand uh was very you can kind of see i don't think you can see it but you can see the marks it was little yeah little bliss yeah and then it came all over to my mainly like my arms and neck and um body yeah and now and i just yeah can you tell me yeah, like the, the like the scarring of it after it all peeled down and now it's just like little oh. dots. And uh, that was in addition to your uh, withdrawal from the steroids. That was not topical steroid withdrawal. Uh huh. No, it's because it got infected. Yeah, there was something completely, and I had already stopped steroids like two years before, and it. Then they, when I was in the hospital, since I couldn't say anything, they put some steroids on my arms and everywhere because they thought it would help. And they thought it was a viral infection or something like that, but it turned out to be, uh, what was it? I'm not sure what they said it was. They didn't really, they had never seen a, a eczema case like that before in that hospital or any hospital nearby. So they were trying to send me to a burn unit um, to San Francisco mm -hmm. because um, my skin looked completely burned pretty much because of this uh, herpticum eczema. I think that I'm not sure how you say it. Yeah. But. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And uh, so till now you don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the first two weeks, no, because I was on so much pain medication because I couldn't even move my body because my skin was so sore and very, just really bad. Yeah. But your, your skin was f feeling burned, like very uh, uh, fragile, sensitive, red, opened. How, how uh -huh. was it? Yeah. It was like, um, how would you say it? It was just, uh, how would you say it? It's hard to explain because it was really bad. I wish I had a picture yeah. to show you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, it was like red, inflamed and itchy. So they would have to wrap my hand so I wouldn't scratch it. And they would put, um, they did, uh, what is it called? Like uh, when you put cream, when you, they, they wash your arm and then they put cream. And so wet, wet wraps. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like uh, for burn. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because I'm 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 just thinking in the without what you had in the TSW already, the skin mm -hmm. and that was that's my own experience, feels like it's burned because it's very sensitive. It's opened because you scratch, and mm -hmm. um, and you cannot really get dressed because stuff is sticking on it, you know. So so I have the feeling it's a mixture of everything you had. But I'm um, I'm just thinking, what what did you have in your opinion? Mm -hmm. What what happened? Uh, uh -huh. Well, I think what happened was that I thought it was um, the dystrolic eczema, which it was, but it got infected so and turned into a staph infection, and then um, I was getting all this medication because I had gone septic and. Then my kidneys started to fail because all this medication I was getting. And and I think it was mainly, it was my fault because I didn't go to get this checked, you know, because I said, oh, I should be okay. I'll just put the cream and 
I'll be okay. Because I had, I had the little blisters before, but nothing like compared to how it was. So I said, oh, it should be okay. And it wasn't. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It brought you to the hospital. And uh, mm -hmm. how do you eat, Daisy? What is mm -hmm. your, your, your eating habit? Mm -hmm. um, well, I don't eat dairy. Um, okay. I try, try not to eat sugary stuff, like okay. cookies, candy, stuff like that. Yeah. And what else? I drink a lot of like lemon water, celery juice, um, healthy. Before, stuff. before the hospital uh, uh, episode, you were already eating like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I was okay. And, And then for, all this. For, for how long you've been eating so clean? Mm -hmm. for how long? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I think. Like five years ago, when I made this Instagram uh, for to follow people with eczema, I found um, this author named Medical Medium. I don't know if you heard of him. I heard, yeah, yeah. I heard, yeah, yeah, the celery juice. And that's when I started to uh, drink a lot of celery, and that would help me a lot. Okay, so it was five years ago. Mm -hmm. And the... the... The hospital uh, episode was um... this year in June 12th to July 19th, I think. And One... the steroids, I'm, I'm trying to, 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 uh, to see the steroids. You stopped the steroids before they gave you the steroids in the hospital. How long you mm -hmm. didn't have the steroids before you went to the hospital? Like... Um... I would say like two years. Yeah, when oh, I had. Oh wow, started. that yeah. was a long time. And then I then they put some there when I was in the hospital. So then now my skin is very sensitive again to everything. Mm -hmm. So basically, you restarted after the the hospital. You restarted oh. your, your withdrawal. Yeah. So now six okay. months without it again. Okay, mm -hmm. six months. But I have the feeling. But it's my own opinion, maybe it's different for people, that when you start again, it's less painful than the previous one. Because I had, for myself, I had three in total, not knowing. I had mm -hmm. two pregnancies and I had big time red, red skin syndrome all over my body, my neck. It was re really crazy, but I thought it was eczema. And uh, uh, so two twice for two pregnancies. Mm -hmm. And after that, I... Oh, no, I had it four times, actually, because after that, years later, I decided to do a challenge 30 days without gluten, lactose, and just like this, it came out of my mind. No lactose, no gluten, and, and um, um, low food, in, low, um, food low in histamine, you know, because I had the eczema stuff, I wanted to heal myself. And I did it for a month, it was 30 days, and... Basically, it didn't change anything, nothing. Mm -hmm. Like I was not intel intolerant to anything. And um, after that, boom, like, like, like red, like rashes, like, like it was a vengeance, you know, against mm -hmm. me going clean. And so it was my third one, but I didn't know anything about TSW. Yeah. And then last yeah. April, end of April, I started uh, uh, removing myself from the medicine Just by laziness, I didn't want to go through the process, you know, going to the doctor, get the, the, the prescription, pharmacy, and all those stuff. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, man, it's too much. So I stopped. And I really never heard about TSW, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and, but I have to say, okay, that time, this time, it was deeper mm -hmm. because I really went for it. You know, when I knew mm -hmm. about it, I went for it. But... Um, when I had the red rashes and red skin uh, years ago, I have the feeling it was harder on me. And mm -hmm. like my body got used to it a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 I wish, I hope for you, it will be way better, way better than, than previously. But um, because your body already knows what, what will happen in, in a big, big character. But... Um, Till now, what kind of symptoms did you have? Mm -hmm. um, like right now, 
or yeah and and from the beginning of your your new tsw till now what what did you uh, experience um a lot of itchiness and a lot of like um I think it was like two months ago that I was still flaking a lot and now it's not flaky. Now it's more like red and you know, when it's flaky and oozes and now it's just more like um, more dry and red only. Okay, and so then, you... um, mm -hmm. yeah. And like a month ago, I think it's going to be my fifth injection next Monday. I started on Dupixent. Dupixent, the injection. I don't know if you heard of it. Is it uh, the immune uh, immune? Um, uh, is it the one shutting down your immune system? Mm, I think so. Dupilumab or Dupixent? I don't know which oh, name. Yeah, no, yeah I don't know if it's in yeah. France or and not. And this this one is is what? It's a uh, it's to help your it? eczema. It's a biologic that helps your eczema. Oh, okay. Uh huh. I heard about and, it. Yeah. Uh huh. I get it every two weeks right now, and I think it's my fifth time on Monday getting it. Mm -hmm. okay. And, and it since I started, yeah, <laughs> since I started getting the injection, uh, I haven't been as itchy, and and but just my skin is still really red and stuff like that. But since I started it, I haven't been really itchy. All right. All right. And the. Uh, this is your doctor, your GP who prescribed it. It's under prescription? Uh, yes, my dermatologist prescribed it to me, but it wasn't approved by the insurance and he it was denied two times until it was approved the third time. So it oh. took a long time for it to get approved because it's really expensive. Okay. Yeah, so the insurance doesn't want to pay for it until you try... Um, different creams or phototherapy or I don't know what else until you try everything and then they, uh -huh. they know okay okay you did mm -hmm. your best okay uh -huh. okay so at least you have it do pick sense you say it mm -hmm. okay okay sweet and um, so from the beginning you you've been uh, experiencing the oozing uh the okay the itchiness is 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 like from beginning to the end I think but uh, you've been experiencing um, the ooziness, the itchiness, and now it's the dryness. It's flaky skin. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh wow, that's a that's a crusade eh? to go off through mm -hmm. all those those steps. And how was your life uh, during mm -hmm. all those symptoms? How what did you do? Did you work? Did you go to the park? Did you go eat mm -hmm. outside? Did you have a normal life? What did you do? Yeah. Um... Well, before that, I would go out a lot, go eat a lot, and I wasn't very careful about where I would go or where would I would eat and stuff like that. But now I am because, um, like, I'm allergic to grass and pollen and oh. all these different kinds of foods and stuff like that. So I'm more careful about everything now. Okay, okay. And and during those months, you you had a normal life or you stayed at home and you didn't mm -hmm. see nobody? um no I I would stay at home but I also would try to go out because when I stay at home I feel like uh, I just get more sad you know okay so you yeah, saw I, people you were still social mm -hmm. yeah I try to be at least with close friends and see them as much as I could yeah all right could they could they understand what you were going through mm -hmm. Mm, I don't think so, but they would see me and they would always ask me, oh, do you need something? I can help you. But I don't think they knew how bad I was because yeah. I always tried to stay positive, you know. Okay. But spiritually, mm -hmm. in your mind, you were shut down. You were down. Uh-huh. Depression? Yeah. yeah, for some time. But then um, I started reading more and... And just like stuff like that to help me. And I go to, uh, um, what is it called? Counseling? Yes, counseling. counseling. Yeah. yeah, I go to counseling every week okay. since the hospital visit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, and that has helped. Yeah, yeah, it might be helpful to, to talk even even more for a woman, I guess. But mm -hmm. um, did you work during those months of TSW? Mm -hmm. Where are you working? Uh -huh. Yes, I was. And like I said, or I don't know if I said that I work at St. Joseph's in Santa Rosa. It's a hospital. Yeah. And uh, 
I work as a CNA, a nurse assistant that helps the nurses in, in the float pool. So I go to all the different floors of the hospital Okay. and just seeing people there. Cause there's a lot of people that come in for skin problems there at the hospital. And I would always get um, sad and nervous that that would happen to me oh, because yeah. there's a lot of people, yeah, with eczema or psoriasis or other skin conditions that would come in and yeah. But you already had the TSW huh? when you were taking mm -hmm. care of those people. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm like, seriously, you know, going through mine, I'm like, really, I, I, I have a huge respect for, for anybody who, were, who was able to go to work, face people. How was your face? How was you, were your hands? How, uh -huh. how, how did you do it? Well, I think it was more hard for me because since I work in a hospital, all the yeah. nurses and, and people are like, oh, what's wrong with your face? Or do you have an allergy or this and that? Because they they know, you know, they know, oh, something's wrong with her. Yeah. And I would have to tell him, oh, it's just my eczema. Or people would always ask me because it's mainly my face that has always been more irritated because of everything else, I mean, you can cover up, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Or my hands, because in the hospital, you know, you have to be super clean. Yeah. So just washing your hands so many times in yeah. just one hour, it would dry out my hands more or using hand sanitizer. And people would say, what's wrong with your hands? Because they would look um, just really irritated after working, even though you use gloves. And sometimes I think that would even cause me allergies to the latex of the gloves. I don't know. It was very hard because... It gets tiring to tell people what, what what's wrong with you. <laughs> yeah, but in your position, it's it's even worse because yeah, mm -hmm. imagine imagine a, a makeup artist coming to your house or you, coming to you offering her her services and her her face is totally messed up. You know, mm -hmm. she has spots, acne, and stuff, and she's supposed to do your your makeup. So you're like, mm -hmm. okay, but. You know, it's so basically uh -huh. for you, it's even worse in the way that you're there to heal people. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? Yeah. It's like, what? She's, she's, she's not healed. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. she's, you know, it's, it, and even, you know that. So to mm -hmm. come and to help people while, while, uh, you cannot help yourself healing. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's 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 really frustrating. I I have big time respect because that that was a, a, a yeah. how do you call it a, a trial an ordeal. That was a, a big test mm -hmm. for you because yeah I know myself. I would have just uh, stay home. That's what I did yeah. actually. I stayed just like closed up in the bedroom I didn't see nobody people were coming uh, ringing the door the ringing the bell mm -hmm. I was not moving I was not even mm -hmm. talking to them through through the window nothing mm -hmm. you know so so yeah, yeah 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 okay okay and um I would like to know if you have uh, solutions for for people who are um going through it you know mm -hmm. uh, do you have any uh, advice for 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 those mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think what's really important is just to try to stay positive, you know. Um, I think that's what I do more now lately, too, that like when my like my skin flares up, especially like you can see right now it's flared up. But that's my fault. I don't know if I told you that my birthday party was on Saturday. Okay. So I had a lot of cake, a lot of yeah. goodies and I drink alcohol. So my face tends to flare up when I do that. So what I said this week, I'm going to drink a lot of water, especially lemon water helps me a lot. Celery juice, uh, just stay positive knowing that my, my skin can heal. And I just repeat stuff, repeat like, yeah. I'm gonna be mm -hmm. and that has helped me a lot too. And just talking to someone, like I said, I go to therapy once a week. And I think just talking to someone, what you're going through that listens and is not going to criticize you and stuff like that really helps too. And just and getting like tested, you know, allergy tested and all those things. Yeah. And do you have um, a husband, a boyfriend? Do you live with someone, animals? 
Mm, no animals because we used to have a cat and I was okay and then it turned out to be I was allergic to the hair <laughs> yeah. so no pets but I have my boyfriend okay so uh, for was five there. years now. yeah oh, for five years you said yes okay. for five years so, so you had someone to support you to take care of you to do stuff when you mm -hmm. couldn't okay mm -hmm. that's 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 very good that's very very it's extremely helpful because yeah, many people cannot do anything uh, during TSW. I would like to know, uh, uh, Daisy, what would you say to people who are thinking about using the steroids, the topical steroids, or who used it a little bit for their kids? What who, do you have a message? Mm. I would say to inform yourself first before putting that on your children because it takes a long time for it to get out of your system. And my parents, see, I, I had it when I got eczema when I was three and my parents would put this cream on because the doctors would say, oh no, it's really good for your, your daughter and it's going to help her and stuff like that. And since they didn't speak English, they couldn't um, ask more questions or ask, or oh, what are the side effects or what is, you know, the long-term effects of using this cream. So they they didn't get informed and the doctor didn't tell them either the long-term effects. So I think it's important to get informed. And for you, did you have to, uh, steroids since the four mm -hmm. years of life or way later? Four years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. They, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> Daisy, thank you very <laughs> much for your testimonial. I really, uh, really wish and hope for you a uh, health very soon, as soon as possible. It would be uh, the best. Yeah. And uh, yeah, plant, uh, complete uh, healing. And, uh, and, and I hope your testimonial will really touch many. And uh, by the way, do you have um, a page? Okay, your Instagram I have so I can share it if you don't mind. It's yeah, okay. that's fine. And do you have anything else to, to share, like a, maybe a website or a blog or something? No, I've been meaning to write a blog, but um, I've been kind of lazy, but I'm going to try to write one soon. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I will share, I will make sure to share your, your Instagram. Mm -hmm. And uh, and if people have questions, please, guys, leave your comments under the video or uh, reach out straight to, to, to Daisy. Um, also, like if you like if you like the video. If you didn't like it, please let us know. If you liked it, let us know. Also, we like to interact, and you know the TSW community is a big community, but we are very close because we went tr through the same poop. We went through the same difficulties, so. Basically, we really uh, hold each other tight and, and we support each other. So do not hesitate to contact me. I will always reply. We, if you want to talk in the, on the phone, no problem with pleasure. So Daisy, again, thank you very much for your time. And guys, like, subscribe and stay with us. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, Daisy.